Well, it's Divite, it's Divite's 89. So I've been looking at the Mouse Universe Origins figures, which I started to collect a year or so ago, and looking at which ones are actually worth it or not. And I sort of want to just offer my two cents. Um, so when we look at Cobra Khan, now the Cobra Khan Origins, no. It's got nothing extra, nothing additional, and just has less features in that. Okay, it's got more articulation, but he doesn't have the mist function anymore. So, no. Now, Camo Khan, on the other hand, well, he's his own character. He's an original character. He, I mean, he's basically a reworking of Cobra Khan. But um, he actually does have unique fun, unique features to, to that design. So... He's worth having, and also you can swap the head around if you do have the Cobra Khan and you're not impressed with the fact that you didn't get the extra head or anything new. You can, I think, swap over the um, Camo Khan head, which I think the paint colours will actually match because they didn't put any of the camo on his head like they have on the um, original basic head where you've got that camouflage darker green on there. They don't have that on this one, so in theory you can swap him over to Camo Khan, I think. I mean... Cobra Khan, and I think it'll work. So that may be one possible amendment, but um, yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting Cobra Khan, even though it was one of my favourites. And Jitsu just fell. So next, Whiplash. Whiplash, I nearly didn't buy because I thought they hadn't improved the tail because the original tail was this thin plastic thing, and um. They still had it hollowed out, so I didn't realise from some pictures that it was actually different. I thought they just put an inside sculpt on it, but it's actually a fully um, built, like, solid tail. So he does have that one extra feature that makes him different and I think makes it worth actually getting. So I did buy him very late. He'd been around for ages and I hadn't bought him. <laughs> I could have got him cheaper, but I didn't realise there was actually anything to gain. Um, so, yeah, I would get him. But now we come to Rattlaw, who you probably heard off screen. Apparently the new one does have the same rattle feature, at least. But um, they kept the tail exactly the same as the original Whiplash. So you have the same problems as I'm having right now, where you try and stand him, and the rubber just pushes him forward. And I end up just having to do this all the time, just so his tail's out of the way. So instead of sculpting a new tail, which could have been awesome, and they could have put the rattle in the tail, they just recreate the same problems, and I'm like, you don't get any points for recreating, you know, a figure so accurately that you actually recreate the faults and the flaws and things people didn't like. And he doesn't have the um, function where now you do get a separate neck, but you have to take his head off and put his um, other neck on, and it's still the wrong colour because this really should be red all the way through here, and I've seen some versions where he, it is red. They could have at least given you two different coloured necks. So you can have to choose, do you have the red one that makes sense, or the yellow one like the original. But you're just replicating the look of the original spring-loaded neck. So yeah, not getting him, not worth it. So like I said, I know a lot of people have already made their choice, already have their figures. But um, I just wanted to do a little video giving my opinion, just in case there's anyone out there who isn't quite sure and hasn't heard exactly what they wanted answered from someone else because um, I know obviously there's other people doing videos like this like Pixel Dan and so forth who do a really great job and um, I don't have the studio to do that but I just want to do this anyway so I'm going to go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks